The rain started pouring, and Roland grabbed the camera and ran for outside. <laughs> Un under it. shelter, though, I noticed. You came I, back dry. I, I was mostly dry, but I'll <laughs> tell you what, it came down pretty hard, and there was, of course, some thunder, which mm -hmm. I like to hear. Let's find out what makes thunderstorms severe, though, and Scott has that. Scott? That's right. You know, some thunderstorms are pretty typical. Others, like today, we had some that were severe. So what is a severe thunderstorm? You need to have large hail, wind gusts to around 60 miles per hour. It's not necessarily a severe criteria to have lightning. Of course, all thunderstorms have lightning, and, of course, that can be one of the most dangerous things. But let's take a look at the nature of a thunderstorm. First of all, you've got air mass thunderstorms uh, similar to what we had during the day today. The heat, the air is heated at the surface. It rises, rising air cools, condenses, and makes storms, so you have to be able to get that air to rise. So you can have air mass thunderstorms, or you can have a cold front here that's going to bring that cold air, slide it right into the warm air, and cause that to rise, and you get a, sh a line of thunderstorms forming. We had uh, more of the air mass thunderstorms during the day today, so you get cold air aloft. It's warmer at the ground here. This is the ammunition, the heated surface here. This is the trigger. If it's cold aloft, heat wants to rise, hot air wants to rise, and so it will rise more rapidly, then it will cool, it makes storms, and as it cools and condenses, it actually releases something called latent heat. So the conden condensation actually forms more heat, and then you get more of the storm forming, or at least the air rising higher, and you can get some uh, pretty nasty weather developing uh, during the afternoons especially. You need to have the jet stream coming in like this. This is how you can get the severe weather, because the winds right here will diverge aloft, leaving a void, so the air then rises more rapidly. We had a little bit of that over us during the day today, and so what happens is that air rises rapidly, then the hail begins to form, and that air that's rising rapidly suspends that hail with the rain met, uh, it's kind of wrapped around it. It keeps refreezing and making the hail stones bigger and bigger until the uh, wind basically can't hold it up anymore and so large hailstones will then fall down to the ground. That's what makes a severe thunderstorm. You have to evacuate the air aloft with that jet stream, allowing that air to continue to rise and not allowing the rain to come in and cool it and cause it to sink. And so severe thunderstorms, well, we had them this afternoon. And we could have a couple more tomorrow in some locations. Roland, you've seen baseball size hail, haven't you? Yeah, pretty close to it. And you know who doesn't like that? Who's that? Auto dealers. The auto dealers. Because yeah. they can't move those cars and sure. they all get dinged. It's a hail so sale. Imagine. It's a, a hail, hail sale. sale. They do That's have right. those. <laughs> right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Renew